From my experiences with art, when I really go into it, I can put my mind and my power into it. I can put everything that I have into the piece of art that I'm working into. And what that in turn does, it keeps you from thinking of all the problems that you have. They're much more peaceful than those drawings, the illustrations that are yeah. on the wall. I basically do um, illustrations for books, magazines, and uh, for comic books. And my favorite is portraiture. I like to depict exactly what people look like, but not just what they look like. I like to bring out their personality in the illustrations. Well, I'm a, um, an Air Force retiree, and I was basically fairly well fit, at least I thought I was. In 2009, I certainly started to get symptoms, and having never really been sick before, the symptoms uh, were very pronounced as far as, you know, uh, back pains, uh, listlessness, uh, I couldn't hardly do anything at all. After having a series of blood tests done, the assumption was that I had AML. This is the start of the battle. AML is acute myeloid leukemia, which has to do with your white blood cells. With me, it, it ended up to where all my muscles in my back uh, seized up on me. And that's when they, they started to test me to see what I had or what my problems were. It's, it's the chemistry that you go through in the very beginning. It's pretty tough. When they put that stuff in, my brain went on fire. That's what he said the whole time. It really works on your brain to where if you don't keep yourself occupied and focused in on something, you know, it becomes even worse. That one hit me so hard. So since because I was an artist, I just had my wife bring my equipment to me, and I just started to work. Art therapy, it all depends on how you can bring your emotions out on the piece that you're working on and not lock it in yourself. When I had a fear, I would draw the fear. When I had, when I had empathy in something, I would draw the empathy. You could see it in the illustrations that I that, uh, brought out. Pain, yes, if you can bring it out and visually see it in front of you, you can cope, uh, you, can, you can ease it. You can ease the pain to where you won't even really pay attention to it anymore. My wife, Marion, was my guardian. She was my, I could almost call her my savior because she was always there. She was always helping me. And she always made sure that I was comfortable and that I had, I had hope in life, you know, to keep, keep myself going. And uh, she's, she's the one, she's the one that did it for me. She's also an artist. Yes. <laughs> Today I am in admission, yes. Artwork was my way out. It is a very good coping mechanism. It's been my life all of, uh, ever since I was very young. It gives me life. <laughs>